Hi ABSS user, we have completed all of the one-time setup and configuration. It's time for us to demo the LHDNE invoice record submission from ABSS Premier Connect. Let me run the software as administrator. After that, choose the data file. The first thing I'm going to do is create a self-build invoice. This means I am going to buy something from overseas because I need stock in my company first before I can sell. So, I will choose supplier Lisa. And then change the layout to item layout. I am going to buy 20 Samsung tablets. After that, I will indicate to LHDN that this is a 28-day LHDN term. Here, I specify if it's a K1, K8, or K9 form, and what the INCO terms are. Next, what needs to be filled out? If this is the billing frequency for a monthly basis, I just type monthly. Then, probably the date comes next. After that, I tell the system I paid an upfront payment of 2000 US dollars, so my balance due is 10,000 US dollars. Now, let's take a look. Click the record button, then click OK. The system will ask, self-build recorded, do you want to send this self-build invoice to the e-invoice service? I will say yes. The system will ask me to log in. What does log in mean? Remember the ABSS Connect account? So, you need to enter the ABSS Connect account email address and password that you use to log in. Click the login button and you will see this form send e invoice. Just click send, and after that, wait for a while. The system is now doing some work to communicate server to server including with the intermediary that you maintain as Century Software, which will communicate with the LHDN server. Once everything is successful, you will see this message, successfully sent the document to LHDN and e-invoice service. Now, let's take a look. What information did I create just now? It's invoice number 60 and 22. Supplier Lisa, same song tablet, and a 10,000 US dollars balance. Now, let's check the LHDN portal. All the information you submitted from your ABSS software will go to your My Invoice Portal production. In this demo, we are going to the My Invoice Portal. As you can see here, there is a self build invoice created with an invoice number. Let's click into it and take a look. It's a valid self-build invoice. Now, let's look at the details. At the top left-hand side, you can see the supplier information, which includes supplier leases details. These are the details I maintained in the sample data earlier. On the right-hand side, it is the information I maintained for my company including the TIN number, BRN, registration number, and so on. Now, let's look at the item line. It's a same song tablet, a self-build importation good. The quantity is 20, and the price is 12,000 US dollars, with zero tax amount. Over here, the total amount is shown as zero tax, and the total amount of your bill is displayed. Then, the prepayment amount is 2000 US dollars. Take note that the LHDN My Invoice portal doesn't have any balance mechanism, so it only shows the total payable amount. Over here, you will see the intermediary information, as this information is signed using the intermediary provided by Century Software. Now, let's look at more details. The monthly billing frequency and the start and end dates will appear here. 
Since this is a self-build e-invoice, there is no supplier bank account detail and no payment mode to send to LHDN. However, the prepayment amount and prepayment date follow the information we entered earlier. Basically, the prepayment reference number is the same as your document number and your prepayment date is always the current date. Following that, the K1, K8, and K9 numbers in the INCO terms are shown. Now, click on the summary. The exchange rate is over here. Let's go back to the product. When you open the record that has already been submitted to LHDNE invoice, you will not be able to modify it. It will tell you, this document has been validated by LHDN, no changes are allowed, including to the item line. What you can do is click View e-invoice details, and you will see the information captured by the system, including the unique identifier number provided by LHDN the date and time of validation, and the status of the e-invoice. Most importantly, there is a QR code created by the system, which you can scan using your mobile phone. If you open it from the browser on your mobile phone, you should be able to see the same information, 12,000 US dollars, buyer is Kuki E10 Premier, and the supplier name is Lisa. I won't be able to show the mobile phone screen in this demo. The good thing about the ABSS product is that you can click the preview at ABSS connect button and the information will display on your internet browser as a PDF. This is the first template we have created for LHDN. In the future, more templates may be created, but the most important thing is that we are telling users that this layout follows the LHDN e-invoice specifications 100%. As you can see here, we also include a QR code. When you scan the QR code, it will give you the same information. That's it for the self-build journey. Thank you.